Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get curiosity out of the box. Say cat in a box. Sit so still. Will you come out? Yes, I will. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Curiosity has something special for us today. Will you give us some clues about what we're going to be learning about today? Mm -hmm. These things are round and orange. You can pick them at a farm. They grow on vines and you can carve them. What do you think it is? A pumpkin. We're going to be learning about pumpkins today. I'm going to read the book called My Pumpkin by Sally Frances Anderson. I have a seed. I have a little plant. I have a big plant. I have a vine. I have a flower. I have a pumpkin. Where is my pumpkin? Pumpkins grow in long, thin green vines that lie on the ground, just like, let me show you the picture. Just like this. Okay, so let's watch a video about fall. Let me share my screen. Every year has four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. But how can we tell one season from another? How do we know when it's fall? Here are some clues. In some places, the weather gets cooler in the fall. You might put on a sweater when you go out to play. Some animals, like these ponies, grow a thicker coat of hair to keep warm. Look up at the trees. Their leaves turn beautiful colors in the fall. Orange, red, and yellow. The leaves fall to the ground. And when you walk on them, it sounds like crunch, crunch, crunch. That's a sound that tells you it's fall. Now, what if you live in a place that stays warm all year round? How will you know when it's fall? Beautiful blooming wildflowers will tell you. Fall is a colorful season everywhere. But there's one way everyone can tell when it's fall. We're back in school in the fall and learning lots of new and exciting things. Okay, let's look at our wonderful word. Our wonderful word is the word vine. A vine is a long, thin branch that a fruit or vegetable grows on, and we can earn paw points if we say our wonderful word today. Vine. A vine is a leafy plant with a very long stem. Some vines grow along the ground, and others climb by clinging to a wall or a fence, or a tree, or some other kind of support. Tomatoes and pumpkins are two kinds of food that grow on vines. Okay, let's do our daily message. Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, here we go. Okay, P U M P K I N S is pumpkins and then G R O W is grow and then O N on and then V I N E S is vines T H a T is that. And then S P R E A 
D is spread. And then O, this is kind of a long one. O U T out, I N N, and then A, and then G A R D E N is the word garden. Okay, um, curiosity is going to give us some clues about what our letter is going to be. So let me get curiosity out. All right, it's going to be one of these three letters. So it's either going to be K. What letter is this one? C or the letter V. So curiosity, give us some clues. My uppercase and lowercase shapes are made of straight lines. Hmm, let's look. Are these made of straight lines? Yes. Are these made of straight lines? No. So it's probably not the letter C. How about this? Are those made of straight lines? Yes. Curiosity, we're going to need another clue. Okay. Um, both of my uppercase and lowercase letter shapes are open at the top. Hmm, let's look. Is this one open at the top? Yes. How about this one? Yes. We're going to need another clue. You can make my shape by drawing only two lines. Hmm. I think we could make a V with two lines. One, two. What about a K? One, two, three. So our letter must be the letter V. Let's look at our message and put on our letter goggles and see if we can find a V in our message. So letter goggles on, looking for V. Hmm. Oop, here's one in our wonderful word. It's vines. You keep going. See if you see any V's. I just saw one V in the message today. So was it there? Yes. All right, let's watch a video about Victorian vulture. A Victorian vulture once chimed, I so love to make sweet valentine. He drew Venus on faces and violets with faces, but a vampire bat in the vines. V. Okay, so we've been talking about how pumpkins grow on vines, and this is the first half of our lesson. 